All right, the day has finally come. We're finally changing these ugly wheels. Gosh, geez. Okay, we're finally putting the steelies on. So these are, I think, a general grabber. These are a stock Econoline steely. Uh, mounted on 35, 30. We're probably gonna paint them, but uh, I just wanted to mount them, see what they look like. But uh, finally gonna get these ugly things off. I absolutely hate these wheels. starting to clean out all the stuff in the bed which I've yet to do so I got the wheels and tires and all the junk that was in here is in the trash now um, so I'm actually very impressed with the condition of this bed floor keep in mind how old this truck is being a 61 um, I've seen a lot of bump sides that I've even owned have had tr more trash beds than this thing um, but you can see it's pretty straight actually there's not too many dings and dents in it I mean it's a little bit wavy but honestly there's I don't see any rust I mean, you can tell it had some heavy stuff in it right here. It's a little dent there. But all the way up, no, I mean, my truck even has some holes up here. I don't think this one does. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the air hose on this thing and try to get all this, blast all this stuff out of here um, and just sweep all this stuff out and clean this bed floor up because I think this will turn out really good. Uh, just for gits and shiggles, by the way, I mocked up uh, Chris Eisenhower's off-road bedside. This is a takeoff I got from a friend who got it from wherever, I don't even know. But I ended up with it, so <laughs> I thought it would be funny. This is the 8-inch wide bulge bump side glass. It's backwards, but uh, I think a wide-body F100 would be pretty dope. But uh, bed cleaned up really good. Don't know where the flashlight is, so I'll show you that in a bit. Um, but I'm going to try to clean up the engine bay, do the same thing. It's, I'm probably going to regret this, but we'll see what happens. going on we got another video with the four by truck uh, I'm pretty pumped for this one because we finally changed the wheels so the next one right after that I've dying to do this but I didn't do it because I knew it was just gonna get dirty again I want to actually try washing the truck getting all the crud off of it I've never washed this truck it's just sat out in the rain but it's never actually had any of the dew uh, blown off of it so you can see there's a lot of like water streaks and marks coming down it um, and then on the gas tank area you can see all this stuff right here this stuff comes off and leaves a really good shine because this is the color the truck should be. You can uh, you can pretty pretty obviously see the two contrasts in the colors. Uh, this one's very flat, and then this one actually, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it on camera, but this thing actually is a metallic paint, and it's a pretty high flaky metallic paint. There you can guys kind of see it. Uh, so yeah, that's what it should look like. So uh, we're gonna try to take the time to go ahead and actually clean this thing up, see what I can do. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and back it up in the driveway, make it look a little bit more presentable. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and blast this thing and make it look pretty good. I'm pretty stoked with these wheels. I know you guys are commenting a billion things about them, so uh, finally changed them. <laughs> Sorry it took me so long. I've been really busy with the white Galaxy. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna flip this thing around and get started. All right, let's see if we have better luck than the last time I tried to drive this. Pretty good, huh? It idles better than the Camaro. Right, just our little pre-walk around. I wish this camera had better light and better did better in direct light, but uh, can now you guys can get a better glimpse of the paint and everything. Turn it around so it'll be easier to see. 
I think I need a camera. This thing doesn't really have very good exposure anymore, so I apologize about that. But uh, way better with the Steelers, oh my god. So we're gonna do a full power wash on this thing, and then I'm gonna sacrifice the life of a sponge because there's no way it's gonna be very useful after this truck. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Get it? Perfect. <laughs> Time lapse in three, two, one. I'm gonna try this stuff out. I used it on my truck, it worked pretty well. Uh, so I'm gonna see if it'll take all the browning off these wheels and tires. Because last time I used it, it was really good. And you can see that the second you spray it on, it turns brown. <coughs> yeah, not acidic. <coughs> I just inhaled that, oh my God. When you see the stuff doing things, it means it's working. Jesus. God, oh, that sucked. Oh man, I just ate that. From the tire. What brand is that? <laughs> McGuire's. Sponsored by? So you don't have like a million different clips? Yeah. Craig, I would spray it again with the simple green and kind of let it sit for a little bit. It's, the tip's still on it. Probably will. Wow. Wow. That's actually pretty good. I'm impressed. This is what the Camaro needed for the last five years. Oh, this is legit. I don't even think I need the brush. I think I just put the blast out at the high pressure and good. That looks so much better. Oh my god. Probably do like one or two passes with this wheel cleaner. That's a really good. I'm impressed. Dang. Look at that one versus the front. I want to see if it comes off just by using the high pressure. Yeah. Wow. That is so much better. I'd say that wheel, wheel cleaner looks sick. That works pretty good. See if it, it should just come right off when you spray the front. Dude, that looks way better already, oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. It should still be full. Wow, looks pretty good. Oh, even the tailgate looks better. Gonna do the simple green now. Yeah, we gotta get all this clear coat off before we polish it. Man, it looks good. There's not really a lot of dirt on it. No, I actually was surprised. It's actually like a lot smoother now. You can see now it's it's not as rough. We got that rough layer off of it. Um, I think the soap and water is all we're gonna need until we actually like you know wax it. Yeah, we got we, yeah we got to cut it down and polish it. But you can see the difference between the color on the bedside versus the color on the hood. It's like a lot more faded. This is like way more faded. It's the one thing I noticed. I, we haven't even done the hood yet. The hood's gonna clean up a lot just from water. I've never washed it, so. You can tell the dirt.
is so relaxing. All right, we're gonna try uh, just cutting the one spot, see what it does. Uh, I don't know. I'm curious what just doing a little bit of cutting will do. Now you can. And that's not like it's gonna just wipe off. So it's kind of what we're coming for with the whole truck. Although we're gonna take it like 10 times. I wanna be able to almost see my reflection in this paint because a lot of my friends did it and uh, on their trucks and it came out phenomenal. So we're gonna do a full cut and uh, you can see that one paint line all the way from here. Uh, that'll be its own video because I wanna do a, get, get the full rundown, teach myself how to do it and then do the whole truck. Uh, but I'm really stuck the way this thing just came out and just washing it. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and take the time to do the engine bay and the interior and uh, prep it for polishing. But man, these wheels, just get a little of that. Crazy. I know people are going to ask me, these are basically Econoline Steelers. You can get these on the 90s and early 2000s vans. Uh, eight on six and a half, just really the only thing you got to make sure of. Other than that, everything's, you know, the same as any other Steely you would get. Uh, you can get the original ones, but the Econoline ones, you can pick these things up for less than $100 for all four, and they're dirt cheap and really easy to find. You find them in junkyards all the time, so, so it's on the truck if you're curious. Wow. You can see his reflection in the paint. That's insane. You cut down the white. Jeez, look at that. Yeah, you can literally see Sean's reflection in the paint now. That is so crazy. Oh, that is so much better. I cannot wait to polish this whole truck. Oh my God, this is gonna suck though. And this is. Satisfying. <laughs> that is so sick, yeah. Dude. Just listen. <laughs> meek, meek. <laughs> yeah. That looks so much better. And it's not like, there's no residue left, huh? Because it's all just wiped off. No, I wiped that, it off. Yeah, that is the paint. That is what's underneath your guys' 30 year old paint. So, I mean, it, it took like not even five minutes to do this, so I'm pretty stoked. But yeah, and that's, that's just cut down. That's We haven't even polished it yet. Once you polish it, it'll get all those little shiny. tiny, a lot more shiny, yeah. But I think that's pretty good on the cutting. We'll do the, basically that on the entire truck and then uh, get out the polisher and just go to town. I'm pretty pumped with that. Heck yeah. Can't wait to do the hood and the front end. Oh, it's going to be sick. It's crazy. Hey, you can see it like really well from down here. Oh, that's, that's so sick. Go ahead and try to take off all these. I think there was a little cover over this thing, but the problem is we can't polish them with them with them in the way. And even more so, they're really rusted, so they're impossible to take out. So we're gonna try some of this stuff. Multimax actually helps a lot because it doesn't come out like crazy. You can see I can just stab them instead of this crazy explosion all over everything. Uh, it'll just give me just what I need. So around the whole thing. So I'll just do this and. Get as many as them, uh, get as many of them out as I can, and then uh, whatever ones I can't get out, I'll probably just drill them, drill the heads off, and they'll come right out. So, I did not think I was gonna get this lucky because last time I tried it, they all stripped. Sprayed a little bit of PB blaster on these things, and look, they're all coming out. Okay, we're definitely gonna run these over. This when I tried doing a dry. Oh, oh, dang! Look at that. Yeah, these aren't too bad. I'll probably. I don't know what I should put in, what the heck should I put in all these little holes? Should I just, I don't, I have no idea. What do, you, what do you guys think we should put? Just like a little nylon or plastic plug in them or just leave the hole or what? I don't know what to do. Wow, they are all coming out. <laughs> I didn't think they were gonna come out that easy. Well, look at that. Oh, look at that reflection. Alright, we're gonna see if I got any 
better than that. Drive. Oh, spoke too soon. That was the block I was wheel chop. Oh, the brakes go to the floor. That's sick. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. shot and there's no foam in the seat so if you give it any gas and it's hitting the back yeah. of the truck yeah. the steering's really great as you can tell oh, <laughs> oh my god oh, that's a cop So uh, the one thing I'm gonna do is now re-clean the interior, take all this junk out. Uh, I had this at a couple of friends' house, two friends' house, Mike and my buddy Cole, because uh, I didn't have the room here. So now that I'm here and I'm not in dirt, I can finally just take everything out of this truck, give it a full cleaning. So we're gonna go and take the seat out, probably pull back some of the carpet. I'm actually thinking about putting a carpet kit in it because I think it would just, just a seat cover and a carpet kit will actually make this interior look really, really good because uh, there's nothing really wrong with it. I really don't understand why the glow box is blue and why a bunch of the other things in this truck are blue. Like there's these random spots that are blue all over it. So I don't get that. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, the interior in this thing's actually pretty mint. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the seat out and get this thing cleaned up. Same with the engine bay, we're gonna do that too. So. All right, you guys get to watch me take a seat out by myself for like the millionth time. This, this, this sucks, I hate doing it. The seat's like broken. It doesn't. Oh god, I almost just ripped my fingernail off. Ow, that hurt. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so I need some opinions from you guys. Uh, this carpet, uh, I've tried cleaning. I'll go ahead and clean it right now so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, perfect. So uh, I went ahead and I cleaned uh, mostly the, the there, it's a two piece carpet and the back section is really good. So you can see it actually cleaned up quite well. I was actually very impressed. Um, it looks better uh, with the lower light. Uh, came out really good, pretty happy with that. But the front one's really trashed. Uh, it's been folded over, kicked, ripped, torn, and it's not really in great condition. Same with the transmission tunnel one, uh, as well as the driver's side one, which you can see, or the passenger side one, which you can see over there is a mess. So uh, I luckily actually went online just to see, um, and there's a carpet kit for this thing for a whopping 150, or basically 150 shipped. That's not really that bad. Bunch of different colors, now on loop. So, so I'll probably end up doing that from stockinteriors.com. <laughs> so I'll probably end up just doing that. Um, I think carpet kits really clean up the look of a truck. They're not very expensive. Um, so I'll probably do a carpet kit for this thing, just another black one. And then I'll go ahead and I'll get just a seat cover for this, uh, just so it doesn't look too bad. There's only one little rip in the other side. So I initially was gonna ask you guys, should I keep the carpet? Is it gonna matter? Or should I just put a new one in it? And uh, I'm just gonna put a new one in it. So uh, yeah, thank you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. So my videos are so out of order that I don't even remember. I mean, keep in mind that I bought this truck in September. It's uh, it's June, so I don't even remember which video or where I put the cleaning of this thing in. But it sat at my buddy's house in the dirt, and so it got dirty again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean the thing up because probably we'll only see dirt maybe one more time. I think it's only right that I get it running good enough that we take it out on some form of a trail or something and do something fun like that. Um, so we'll see, but I think I'm super dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clean it all up real quick as I break the weather stripping that's already broken. Um, Cause this paint is phenomenal on the inside of this truck. It's, I mean, you guys can see it on, it, it, this, it kind of shows it on camera. It's a really, really high metallic. Um, and this is actually what the outside of the truck is supposed to look like. Unfortunately, the paint's so old and probably not the highest quality paint. So it's not lasted all the weathering and sat. Uh, for the last, you know, maybe 20 plus 30 years since it was painted. So I don't 
Uh, I can't unfortunately get this exact color back out of the paint, um, but I am definitely going to try my best uh, to get close. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe everything down. I'm just using Simple Green. This I highly recommend you guys, if you do have an old car and you haven't actually like done a full in-depth detail on the whole thing before, get yourself a bottle of Simple Green. Go buy the gallon too, because of the concentrate, because then you can just keep adding it. You don't have to keep going to the store. And just wipe your entire truck down the whole inside you'd be absolutely blown away at what your results will be after going ahead and just simply wiping down the door panels the dash you wouldn't be amazed you'd be absolutely amazed at how much stuff hides underneath your dash um, in between all the switches and all that kind of stuff so do yourself a favor if you care about your truck you know what to look good uh, i'm a big interior guy big engine bay guy uh, when that stuff look, looks good it really increases the value of a truck dramatically just by simple labor so go ahead and try it all right, so I just put the wheel back on straight. Just got that all nice and orientated. Um, but the one thing I noticed is if you actually use the steel wool to clean up all the pitting on the rust, um, neighbor actually told me this, didn't think about it, is you actually spray a little bit of PB Blast there, which we got our our uh, actual adjustment tool on the, on the top so you don't spray it everywhere. This thing's really good. So just a normal PB Blaster on it. Uh, since it's a rust penetrant, you can spray it on it. And as you're, you're going across to it, it actually uh, cleans it up pretty easily. You know, that's just one hand me holding the camera, but works a lot better um, than just trying to do it without anything and just dry. But I noticed that actually works really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this whole wheel up and uh, maybe a little bit on the dash and we'll be good. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut off this video just a little bit short. Uh, some times went by, obviously you got a haircut and whatnot. Um, but uh, we have a really cool video for you guys coming up. It, it, this video ended up being like 30, 40 minutes long. So I'm just gonna split it up into two part series. So the next part, you're gonna watch us do the engine bay. And there's a lot of cool stuff that you guys are gonna see. I'm gonna show you right now. So in the next video, you guys are gonna get to see all of this goodness, which looks way better. So, yeah. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like the video if you did enjoy. Let me know you think down in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video with this truck. It's coming out so good. Bye guys.